45 years ago today, the landscape of the Pacific Northwest changed forever. On the morning of May 18, 1980, at exactly 8.32 a.m., Mount St. Helens erupted with staggering force. After weeks of seismic rumblings and visible signs of unrest, the north face of the volcano collapsed in a massive landslide, the largest in recorded history, unleashing a powerful lateral blast. Within moments, the explosion flattened over 200 square miles of forest. Ash rose 80,000 feet into the sky, darkening daylight across several states. The cloud drifted east, spreading volcanic ash as far as the central United States. 57 people lost their lives. Among them were geologists, loggers, and local residents caught in the path of destruction. Entire ecosystems were wiped out in seconds. Rivers were clogged with debris. Roads and bridges disappeared under mud and ash. The eruption released energy equivalent to several atomic bombs. The mountain itself lost over 1,300 feet of elevation, leaving behind a gaping crater that remains visible today. In the years since, Mount St. Helens has become a living laboratory for scientists. It stands as a reminder of the region's volatile geology. Life has returned to the blast zone. Forests are slowly recovering, and the mountain still stirs, with occasional earthquakes and dome-building activity.